With 2018 fast approaching, many are already setting New Year's resolutions. One of the more popular ones, losing weight and joining a gym. WNCT's Emily Gibbs spent the day at one gym where they're already seeing a spike in membership. No, this is not the parking lot for a mall or a shopping plaza. This is the pack lot of a Greenville gym. People are rolling in ready to begin their quest to be fit. My um, 2018 fitness goals can um, consist of um, dropping some extra pounds and toning up for the new year. I'm going to try to make it to the gym more often. I think I'm making like once every month. Fitness Connection has been running nonstop. So we started having surges and membership increases uh, earlier last week. Uh, it's been continuing that way each and every day, a little bit more each day. Weights and aerobics, a little bit of racquetball. Well, some make it their resolution. Loser of the resolution is to, to um, work out a little bit more. Others know they shouldn't set the bar too high. And do you usually set kind of like a fitness resolution? No, no, because that, that lasts a month. Which is why it's important to make resolutions that are obtainable. Set realistic goals, set goals that um, maybe you've even tried to achieve before. Nutrition is a huge key in how you're going to be successful. We have fitness consultants and personal trainers. And once the habit of going to the gym sets in. I'm starting more with cardio and respiratory type workouts, just getting back into shape, getting the heart rate up, and then working your way into some higher goals. Many realize their goals become a new lifestyle. I want to feel good about myself and um, spend some time with me, have great instructors, and, um, and I think that, that's it. It's my, it's my me time. In Greenville, Emily Gibbs, 9 on your side.